everyone, I'm from the Vault here. Welcome back to more Jurassic World Evolution. We're gonna go ahead and just jump right back in, but before we do, just wanted to say real quick thank you so much to the publisher for giving me a copy of this game so I could play it for you all. I'm having way too much fun, and I'm not gonna lie, I don't want to stop playing it. So let's go ahead and get back into it. I'll see you guys back in just a sec. For a person of your talents. All right, so here we go. So use expedition center to unearth smaller, medium herbivore fossil. That's fine. We can try that. Um, so here's don't the deal. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. Okay, Bryce Dallas Howard. Um, we are gonna go ahead and. Oh, wait. We can research that. I'd like to research that. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything really available though. Darn it. Okay, that's okay. Uh, fossils. So let's go ahead and extract the DNA on this one. And I guess we're extracting the DNA on that one automatically. I don't know why we wouldn't. Um, and then let's go ahead and go to another expedition. Now this is the one I've been going to, um, just cause it's, it recently opened up and it was pretty cool. We hadn't been there before. Uh, we could go to this one in Portugal though. I'm not going to though. We're going to keep going back to this one in, what is, what is this one called? Uh, Zilij, Z Zilijing Formation? I don't know if I said that right. Chances are I didn't and I apologize, but... I did try. <laughs> I tried. Um, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and incubate some dinosaurs here. And we are going to be using this one here. We have an 87%. Um, it's too expensive, but we can modify the genes first, which is what I would like to do. Let's take a look here. So we have no other colors. Let's see. Um, maybe we don't want to give it any more, like fighting but maybe if we give it some immune system junk that'll be good um i don't want to change any of that ah, okay i i'm afraid to change any of those things um oop, i clicked the wrong button toughness um i don't think we're ready yet for toughness okay so what are we looking at we need six hundred and five thousand. So we're going to have to give it a little bit more time, but in the meantime, I've built two emergency shelters. So there's one over here and one over there. We have two restrooms. We now have a clothes shop and we have a hotel now. Um, I don't think anyone's ever stayed in, but that's going to change once I get the dinosaurs here. Um, and then I'm going to need to build a new path because we're going to need to have some other stuff going on here. There's just like a lot that you could potentially do in this game. I I'm realizing very quickly that... Like, wow, there is uh, a lot to think about, and a lot of it I have not thought about. <laughs> As I'm going through here, I'm just like, oh crap, I didn't think about that or that, or how I'm going to place things, or there's just so much that, like, now I'm realizing, huh, I, I could have done that, huh? So what we're doing now is we're kind of going and trying our best to build. Um, I wasn't sure if it would matter where we put our hotel, and it turns out it very much did. So I do regret putting the hotel here, but we'll we'll figure it out. It'll be fine. Once we can actually get like some dinosaurs in here, it'll be fine. I don't know if this costs us any money. Yeah, it does. And I think it's fine to put a little bit of money into this right now. I'm not that worried about it. Okay. So let's do that. Now, is there any water in here? There is not. Okay, so we're gonna have to make some water for our You've new done some impressive work. And I thought I was the only competent one around here. Mm, all I have to say about that is fuck you. I'm very clearly confident. Confident? Competent. Oh my god. Okay, so we need to add water. So we're gonna need no to- matter what anyone else says, science is what makes or breaks us. Admittedly, sometimes both, but on Isla Matanceros, you are making us and yourself look good, and that's worth a reward. Oh, I don't know if I care about looking good as much as I care about doing good, and I gotta be honest, we're doing Jurassic Park again, so probably not. <laughs> we are probably not doing good. Okay. I will do the thing in just a second there, but before we do that, let's do, we're going to need some carnivore feeders. 
I can't even put dinosaurs out here until I have feeders. So I kind of feel like there's not even a reason to try to stick a dinosaur there until we have a feeder. Um, or I mean, incubated dinosaur there. And maybe we should, we should probably put a viewing gallery over here. But I just realized that I put that path so close, I probably will not have anywhere that it'll fit. So I have to delete the path I already built. Ah, see what I mean? Like, I'm having serious problems thinking of A, A going to B. I finish A and then I'm just like, do 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 and then B comes along later and I'm like, oh shit, <laughs> there was a B. Okay, come on, come on. I saw a blue, there we go. Just grab it before we lose it, okay. You're gonna need your own substation, because of course. Okay, I feel like this is worth building before we actually incubate the animals. I know it probably seems a little silly, but I don't want to potentially screw this up and end up with like a ridiculous amount of... How far back can I put this? Here, we'll do that. Okay. I don't want to end up with like a ridiculous amount of like junk in the end. Which is what I'm a little afraid of, is that I'm going to somehow just screw this up so badly that I'm going to end up with, like, this enclosure that's not even useful. Okay. Whew. So there's the viewing gallery. The hotel will have some views very soon. We just need the money. Okay. So this is pretty much what I've been, I guess, kind of dealing with, is it takes me little bits and pieces sometimes to build this stuff, just because it's not that easy. <laughs> like, it actually, I can tell that this is, like, one of those games where you have to take your time and you actually have to, like, think about things. And it's hard. Like, it hasn't been that simple. Um, let's do this. What do you Corporate need? Challenge? Well, then you are going to Oh my see god, that is too much of a challenge. We currently make like $50, so no, not happening. Um we could check in on my new friends. Oh, you know what? We never named you. Hmm. I don't know what to name you. You're yellow though. So, hmm. I'm going to be really lame and give you a lame name because you're yellow. Your name is going to be Lemon. Um, also, though, because Lemon is a character on a podcast that I love. And if you know what that means, then good. You got the inside joke. All right. So Lemon and Eloise. And then we've got Dave and Puddin. Now, do Dave and Puddin, you guys don't have like a, a queen or anything? How are we doing with the Triceratopses? Doug? Sarah? Mocha. Oh, Mocha is the alpha now. <gasps> okay, there's guys, there's been a little drama. There has been some drama. Sarah is no longer the alpha. Wow. Mocha is the alpha. You know, I can't say I'm surprised. Look at that fancy color and she's got Wow, Mocha. This may not be the easiest of contracts. Here, yeah, we can easily take that one. It. Now, see, that's a contract I can actually use. It's funny because security gives me the best contract so far. And it's not even that I want to be hanging out with security. It's just that they have the better contracts. Um, I would like to do this one again, but gosh, that amount of money. I mean, we're going to do it, but it makes me feel so bleh. Okay, we don't need to look at the database. I don't care about that. Okay. I'm glad to hear, though, that now Mocha is in charge of everyone, because Mocha is wonderful. Okay, I want to incubate my dinosaur. I want to incubate my dinosaur, but he costs too much. Okay. God, we know too many dinosaurs already. I guess I could change the modifications to the genes. Maybe I don't need the modifications. Maybe I should get rid of that. I mean, it will cheapen it up. Not much, but 550,000 is more, or is less than 
600,000. Okay. I mean, so far we do have three Triceratops. Like, I think that should count as something. And three of the, the cute little ones that look like lemon. The Struthiothmius. I need a kid to come tell me these. That's one of the things I miss, actually, about my work. Is I used to have children constantly come and tell me all about dinosaurs. And it was adorable. I love it when kids come and tell me about dinosaurs. I don't want to sell any of my dinosaurs. I, I kind of love them all. But I will be honest. It's hard not to be like, well, you are relatively, you know, worth a good amount of money. What about you, Doug? What are you worth? Probably not much, right? Oh, 34 grand. Not too bad. The mocha's worth a lot more. I mean, I would assume. Ooh, what are we selling at this clothes shop? Okay, so we've got a dino t-shirt. Hmm. I think that's probably the best thing we can sell. One of the things I noticed is that I don't have, like, an understanding right now of how the price of an object impacts how people buy it or if they buy it or if there's any impact at all I don't quite understand that right now and I wish that there was a just a little bit more explanation surrounding that on this game and I haven't really seen that yet but I would really like an explanation just of how some of this works um, it's just confusing because sometimes I'll like look at something and be like Okay, I should be able to sell that for X, but then I don't know what I can actually sell it for. And I guess it's, it might sound weird, but like I work in an industry where that is something I do. I, I've priced clothing before and items, and I know that it's 100% markup, but like I, this is at 100% markup, and it says I have no guests? I mean, are people not buying it because it costs too much? Because 40 bucks for a pair of night vision glasses, or night vision goggles, excuse me, is not expensive. But people are buying lunch boxes? So I don't know. I wish there was more, like, information of how these worked. I feel slightly dumb. Because I'm sure I'm missing something. Like, I'm sure it's not the game. It's probably me. <laughs> I kind of want to sell Dino Feast at both of them. Okay, we'll do them both at 26. Yeah, okay, they're selling the same things at the same prices. Good. Okay. I mean, we are getting there. I feel like it's, it's getting better. It's just... Oh, hi, Lemon. Uh, hi, either Dave or Puddin'. Don't know which one's which. Wish I did. Hi! Well, this is actually pretty cool. Cool and terrifying. I don't know if I like this. Now that I think about it. What is going on? Okay. Oh my gosh. We still need 550,000 and we're only at 470. And I need to make two of these things. Oh. Okay. All right, this is what I think I'll do. I'm gonna go ahead and pause it. You guys are so shocked. I'm gonna go ahead and pause. I'm gonna try to make some money off camera and then I will be right back. All right, here we are. Finally, we have one. We need two, but we have one. Whoa, check you out, baby. Hi. Ooh. It's very nice to meet you. Our guest is what we strive to maintain here on the islands. We do that by making sure their needs are met. In a way, it's kind of like taking care of the dinos. Just with more demands and less understanding. <laughs> Am I right? Hmm, I guess. Alright, we gotta name this dino real quick. And before we do anything, it needs a name. Its name is Rooster. Um, why? I don't know. Something about 
the way that it walked with the red on it, it made me think of a rooster. So this is rooster. We need a live bait feeder. I don't know how I feel about that. Around here, huh? I love what you're doing with the place. I really don't like the live bait feeder. I didn't build one on purpose. Ugh. I like what I'm seeing. Let's keep it up. Satisfaction is what we aim to give our guests. Make them appreciate the little things. And the big things with the teeth and glassy eyes that could swallow them whole. Oh, I don't like the life bait feeder. Nice. Okay. Hey, way to go. We've got our park running at maximum happiness and our guest numbers are up as a result. That's what makes the entertainment division the envy of the rest. We get the results, am I right? Oof. When the parks are running well, our scientific research improves. Of course, I'd never tell this to Isaac directly. Heard it. Mm, I, I was going to add that... No. No. No, 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 no. Too late. Heard it. Later, Doc. Ugh. Hmm. Well, I'm glad that it's going well. I need to make two of those, though, so we're going to make a second one. I think you're up to tackling this contract. At least look it over. Okay, we don't have one of those yet, but I can stick it on there because I'm not concerned about not doing it. I mean, you know how to take pictures, right? Everybody does. So this next contract should be something that you can handle. If I had those dinos, of course. But the problem is I don't right now. Um, but that doesn't mean that we can't have them. Uh... We just obviously don't want to put them in here, because that's where we're going to have our big ones. I wonder if this is probably a terrible idea, but could I build one, an enclosure here? This is a huge mistake. And I know it's a huge mistake, but I'm doing it anyway. Okay, let's... Give it a second. All right. The fact that that fence isn't electrified is something I probably should have thought about before this second. But you know what? I didn't think about it before this second. <laughs> oh. All right, my dog just came over, said hi, and then immediately left, which makes me a little nervous. <laughs> He might start he might start barking at me pretty soon here. Okay, that is a really small space. Wow. I can't put anything in there. There's no way anything would fit in here. Like, which creature are we gonna stick in this tiny little thing? This is sad. Do we have any tiny creatures? Like, sometimes when you work at zoos, you have tiny critters, you know? Like, we can make it the place that we put the bunnies. <laughs> okay, I guess we're doing this. Okay. That's connected. I feel very strange right now. I don't know what critter I'm gonna put in here that's gonna work. I don't think any of our critters are gonna work, but I don't know, maybe I could put Lemon and his gang in here. Maybe they would chill. Her gang, sorry. I'm so bad at that. Uh, not scenery. Um, landscaping, because we need water. If we think we're actually gonna do this. Okay. So, I think that that's what we'll have to do, because that, uh, the one starts with an H. This is pretty big, I think. Hmm. These are pretty small, though. And I feel like if my team could put these kiddos to sleep. Confirmed. Adding to the list. 
Okay. So once they trank Dave and Lemon, we'll be good. And then we have to get Puddin'. Whew, but we're gonna have to move them all. I feel bad about tranquilizing them, though. Like, do they have to be? Division thanks you. So do I. Wow, are they having trouble getting them? They seem to be having a lot of trouble getting them. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching me play Jurassic World Evolution. Of course, shout out to the publisher who gave me a copy of this so I can play it for you. Again, we are playing over on Switch. This was definitely on other things when it first came out. I know it was on PlayStation 4. I wanted to play it, but this is the Switch version and it is so awesome. I'm having so much fun. So we're gonna go ahead and get out of here, guys. It is the end of this video, but before we do, if you could like, comment, subscribe to all the YouTube things if you like this video, please let me know if you wanna see more of Jurassic World Evolution. And also, if you'd like to go ahead and check out more of my videos, there should be some on the screen there. You can also click that picture of my big dumb head that will subscribe you to the channel. If you click that, you can also click on that bell icon. Be notified every time I post a brand new video. Last thing that's on your screen there are some Patreon members. Those are my patrons, the people who keep this channel running. If you would love to go and say hi to them over on Twitter, right now those are all Twitter handles. I would appreciate it so much. If you'd like to become a patron, there is information on the screen too in the lower left in that box. But otherwise, please tell my patrons how awesome they are and how much we appreciate them. Thank you so much. We're going to go ahead and get out of here, but I'll see you in the next one.